Welcome to Tech Brothers Damir. In this video, we are going to learn how to find out who has deleted, created the Azure Data Factory or your other resources in Azure Portal. So let's go to the Azure Portal and take a look. Here I am on logged into portal.azure.com and I'm on the home. Once you're on that the home screen, what you're going to do, you need a monitor. How you find out the monitor? You're going to go to these three uh, lines there. And uh, in this drop down, uh, what you're going to see, you're going to see the monitor right there. Click on monitor and here you will see the activity log. So this activity log provides a lot of information. So first of all, you if you have multiple subscriptions, you can select the subscription for which you would like to see the details or activity. Now you have event severity. So you have a critical error warning information. So in my case, I'm gonna select all four of them, but you can select if you are only interested in warning or errors, so you can select that. And then you have time span, last six hours, you can add further filters, and you have all those different type of filters available, uh, such as the event initiated by, you know, and if you wanna put some value right there, you can have that. Or just if you want to filter by resource group, in my case, if I have a resource group, you know, equal to tech browser IT and last six hours, if I would like to see only for that resource group. So I'm going to click here in last 24 hours or, you know, click right there and see the different activity happen in this resource group in last 24 hours. So you can see that I have deleted a data factory. So right there and create, I created a, uh, or updated the uh, integration runtime so you can see right there and uh, you can see the JSON file this give you a lot more information uh, so it's going to be uh, every details uh, so you, your uh, emails uh, who is the caller and when it started and everything so you have uh, tons of information right there so here is the error see it delete data factory I tried to delete the data factory and it was giving me error because uh, it was uh, used uh, it had uh, some uh, um, let me click right there. So see right there. So it uh, had SSIS uh, IER integration runtime and uh, it was using some VNet. So I had to delete that uh, uh, nested uh, resource first and then uh, I was able to delete the data factory. So that's why I got this error and uh, you can see the errors here you, in the red uh, kind of icon right there. So you can say, see the detail. If you go to the change history, um, it's gonna show you all the change history. Let's say if you have a VM that uh, was using two CPU, then you change to the four CPUs, or it was using uh, 20 GB RAM, now you change to 36. Uh, so if you have those kind of things, uh, it's gonna show you different values. In my case, uh, I don't have a whole lot uh, right here to show you. So we are good. Uh, now, if we go back here, we have a, uh, a stop integration runtime. You have a, your deployments. Uh, I created the, the data flow debug session uh, in the data factory that I have there. So list the storage key count. You have created anything uh, like put blob container. I created a blob container so I can see that information there. So if I have dropped the blob, so I can see right there as well. So tons of information you can get from there and uh, especially uh, if you have a, a single subscription or multiple subscriptions and uh, you have a lot of other users, uh, you can uh, see the event uh, initiated by. So this information will give you like who has uh, started that uh, action. So who won, who deleted this or who has uh, uh, created the SQL server and all that. In this case, uh, if you are interested to see the SQL server uh, that I deleted, so you can see right there if uh, it was me. So anyways, uh, you can click right there and you can see on Monday, September 13, I dropped this uh, SQL server. And uh, the same way, if you're gonna go further, like database, uh, somebody dropped the database, uh, delete SQL database operation name. So with the operation name, you can always filter. So if you wanna go, let's say SQL, right? So, or you just wanna see anything happen to databases. So you say database on top and uh, okay. So now you, when you hit uh, enter, uh, I put the keyword or database here and anything happen related to database here. So it is going to get me all those activity logs. So even under lead private DNZs and all that. So I don't know, this information is too much information, but what I'm looking for, such as like the lead SQL database. So maybe I can put the name or more uh, in the filter, like the complete sentence instead of it will bring me all these uh, uh, other information. So you see right there, so it's going to, go through all and get me anything that has a database. 
so i hope uh, this video will help and especially i have uh, the friends uh, who were talking about like hey how i would know that uh, if uh, my integration runtime is uh, 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 deleted uh, by who or uh, my data factory is deleted by who uh, and all those kind of things so this uh, really help uh, and you can find out uh, all those pipelines uh, drop or pipeline created and uh, your triggers uh, you know and tons of other information you can from find from the activity log so thank you very much for watching and uh, uh, please go ahead and subscribe my channel and i will see you guys in the next video